So now we're going to look at how to deal with functions in Maple. Defining a function in Maple is very similar to assigning a value to a variable in Maple. You type the name of your function, let's just call the first one f, colon equal to assign it, and then you have to give the name of the variable that f takes as input, and you have to tell it where to send that variable to. So for example, if I want f of x, to be equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. I would type f colon equal and then x is the variable it will take, so this will be a function f of x. And then I make an arrow by typing a dash and a greater than sign. And then after the arrow, I tell it where to send x to. So I want f of x to be 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. So I type 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. And this defines f to be the function f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. So now that I've got a function defined, I can do lots of stuff with it. I can evaluate it. So say I want to know what is 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 8. In other words, I want to evaluate f of 1. I type f and then in parentheses a 1 to say that's where I'm evaluating it, and it gives me negative 3, which is the value of the function at 1. You can evaluate more complicated expressions involving the function f. I could, for example, type f of negative 5 minus 4 times f of 1 squared, and it'll evaluate that to 21. I can find the zeros or x-intercepts of f. Remember, the zeros or x-intercepts are all the places where f of x, or y, is equal to zero. So if I want to find the zeros or x-intercepts, I solve f of x is equal to zero. And this gives me the zeros or x-intercepts of f. And you can use solve on any equation. What if instead you want to find the y-intercept of f? Well, the y-intercepts are all the places where x is 0. So to find y-intercept, a function will only have 1. You would just evaluate f of 0. And the y-intercept here is 0, negative 8. One thing to note here is if you're working on a lab or a project and you want to insert text, like say you want to actually state out now what the y-intercept is, you can insert a text block in your Maple worksheet by clicking this T. And now you can type math or text in this text block, but it won't evaluate anything. So say I want to write out the y-intercept, I would write the y intercept of f is 0, negative 8. So that just inserts a, a little block of text in there. So if I want to start now entering commands again, I switch back to command prompt mode by clicking this bracket greater than symbol in the menu at the top. And that puts me back in execution mode. All right, what else can we do? We can solve not just when f of x is 0, we can solve it for any number, say f of x equals 5. Type solve f of x equals 5, and it'll give you all the values where f of those values is equal to 5. You can answer whether or not a given point is on the graph of the function. So say I want to know, is the point negative 1, 12? on the graph of f. Well, to decide that, you just have to figure out what is f of negative 1. f of negative 1 is negative 7, not 12. So negative 1, 12 is not on the graph of f. You can find the average rate of change of f. Remember, the average rate of change of a function between a and b is given by f of b minus f of a over b minus a. If I want to find what is the average rate of change between minus 1 and x,
then I would find the simplification of the expression f of x minus f of negative 1 over x minus negative 1. And I see that 3x minus 1 is the average rate of change between minus 1 and whatever x is. You can decide whether or not a function is even or odd. Remember that f of x is even if f of x is equal to f of negative x. Well, how do you determine whether that's the case? And this is actually like kind of one of those little tricks of mathematics that comes back around every so often. Asking whether f of x is equal to negative x is the same as asking whether f of x minus f of negative x is zero. So you evaluate that and you see that f of x minus f of negative x is 4x, which is not 0. So that means that f is not an even function. Similarly, an odd function has f of x equal to the negative of f of negative x. So to test that, you ask what is f of x plus f of negative x. And if that's zero, then your function is odd. And if it's something else, then that function is not odd. Here it's 6x squared minus 16. So we see that f of x is not odd. So now I've got a bunch of stuff written here. And maybe I don't want to see it anymore. I don't feel the need to save it. You can just go and highlight and delete as much or as little of what you've have inputted as you like. Do bear in mind that if you've made a function assignment or assigned a value to a variable, that stuff's still in Maple's memory. You're just kind of clearing the view screen when you backspace like this. And that is the basics of dealing with functions in Maple.